Hello, this video is presented to you by Bill Zhang, Bill Zhang Pei Ruqian, and Tim Chi. So in this video, we are going to be discussing our solution to the AP Computer Science 2010 FRQ number 2. In this uh, question, it tells us to create a class and object called AP Line. Within this class, it should have three integer parameters, which are called A, B, and C. AP Line is supposed to represent a linear equation, that is, uh, AX plus BY plus C. We can assume that all of them are integers and A and B are not zero. The task tells us to program one a constructor and two methods, one of which returns a double and the other returns a boolean. The constructor should have three parameters and assigns each of them to uh, A, B, and C, respectively. Also, we can assume that the received parameters A and B are not zero. One method returns the slope of the line, which is done so by dividing instance variables, negative a by b, and returning the double value. The other method takes in uh, two parameters, integers x and y, and checks if the point represented by them is on the AP line slope. If it is indeed re uh, represented, then it will re return true, if it, uh, while, while if it is not, uh, then false otherwise. In other words, you can check if the point represented is on the line or not by plugging in two coordinates and see if it equals to zero. Because if it does, it means that it is on the line. So here, right below the name of the class, you declare three private integers for usage in this class, a, b, and c. Below the instance variables, you should write the default constructor, which assigns the default values to the instance variables a, b, and c. This assign enables the use of AP line object and its attributes and can be used by a separate class, which in this case is the tester class that we will be introducing later. So moving on, below the default constructors, you would have to write the two methods that the question is asking for, which are the getSlope and isOneLine methods. For the um, getSlope method, it is pretty straightforward and self-explanatory, as you just return negative a divided by b. But here, we cast the b into a double because the slope can, can be a double with floating digits since it's, it's, it's not always an integer, right? Some people may want to cast both an, uh, a and b, but that is not necessary. For the is, is one line method, since it is a boolean method, you just have to return the true value so that the methods check, uh, method checks if it's returned. Therefore, all you have to return here is the linear equation ax plus by plus c and make it equal to zero, since as explained previously, if it, if it equals to zero, it means that the point is located on the line. Okay, so now moving on to the tester class. So basically, uh, here, we just need to input all the values given by the two examples and see if the process results are the speculated answers. If they are correct, obviously, um, the, the code would be obviously correct, since uh, unless if the code only works for partial values, let's say. Now let's just press run and see if the code works. Now let's get back to this question and see if the answer matches to the speculated results. So here, we can see that the process results from the code fo matches fully with what, what's provided to be the results on the prompt. Therefore, the code functioned correctly. So now, so yeah. Um, now let's go over some, some of the concepts that we found difficult as we were solving the FRQ. Let's first take a look at the uh, getSlope method again. A key concept here that requires more emphasis will be the casting of the variable into a double. Although the prompt informs us that uh, both a and b are integers without any floating values and digits, it, it does say that the slope, negative a divided by b, can be a double with decimals. Therefore, if we don't cast one of the variables into a double, the result would always be an int where fl the floating values would, that, that should be there would be truncated out. So you should keep an eye on that. Okay, moving on. Now let's look at the isOnline method again here. It is critical to remember the ordered operations when you are implementing mathematic concepts into your code, just like this one. However, in our method here, we didn't use parentheses to prioritize anything in terms of the order of operations, only that we used it for instructing the code that the left part of the equation should be compared to the zero on the right. However, you do need to keep an eye out when you're working with math in Java, as the order of operations here are basically just PEDMAs again, just like how uh, you've learned math in elementary school. 
Okay, one last thing here. Although we did set a, b, and c into variables as private, it is not something that you absolutely must do when you uh, are working with objects like this one, which I am referring to the AP line method. However, instance uh, variables are there for the code to understand that we are only using some, some of the variables for this class itself only, and not using them in other ones. Therefore, it's good to set the variables that you would only need to use within the object class to private so that the overall organization of your code would be much better and your ID fully comprehends um, what you are trying to do, basically. It also provides security. So yeah, this is our understanding and our lecture for you to understand how to solve this question. That is the 2010 AP Computer Science AFRQ number two. Thank you for watching.